What's up race team, I'm Taylor of Go Power Sports. Today, I'm gonna show you our aftermarket 22 Makuni. I'm gonna show you how to properly install it onto this engine. Then I'm gonna show you how to properly start it up and tune it on this mini bike. In our 22 millimeter carburetor kit, you get obviously the 22 millimeter performance slide carburetor. You get a 48 millimeter manifold. That's 48 millimeters long. Intake gasket, hardware, and air filter. To install this carburetor kit, you will need a five millimeter Allen wrench. We like to trim ours a little short on this end. It makes it easier. You need a 10 millimeter wrench, a Phillips head number two, screwdriver and a flathead that is skinny enough to adjust your mixture screw. This is our 22 millimeter aftermarket Makuni carburetor. This is the choke. That is choke. That is run. This is your idle in, raises your idle speed, out, lowers it. This is your air fuel mixture screw. Backing that screw out is gonna let in more fuel and rich in your mixture. Going in does the opposite. One of the nice things about this carburetor is you can put it on a variety of different engines, you know, in the small block category. You could run it on a stage one, 212, all the way up to a 225 and we'll get good performance out of that. You're gonna wanna make sure you remove the governor all the way. Don't leave any of the linkage in. Don't leave the gear in, take all of it out, plug those holes and get rid of all the linkage and start fresh. Run your cable straight to the carburetor. When you get your carburetor out of the box, your air fuel mixture screw is generally about two turns out, maybe two and a half. So we're going to set ours at about a half, maybe three quarter turn out before we even put it on the engine. That's about where you're going to want to be. When you're setting these all the way at bottom, just go down finger tight, and we're gonna back out. That's a half, three quarter turn. Okay, this is the bowl of the carburetor. This is your bowl gasket. Every time you drop the bowl, make sure that gasket is in there just like that before you put it back on. This is your main jet and this is your pilot right here. This is the float on the bottom of the carburetor. It allows fuel into your bowl coming through your fuel inlet from your gas tank. To check the height of the float, make sure it's letting in the proper amount of fuel. You wanna hold your carburetor level and make sure that your float is level. If it's up or down, you might need to tweak these little tabs over here. Make sure you don't over torque these screws. You can feel, you know, when they bottom out. Okay, first step in mounting this carburetor onto the engine, bolt the carburetor onto your manifold. You have to match up the D-shaped ports on the intake and on the intake side of the manifold. So that's like that. Carburetor's gonna go like this. Do not tighten these yet. You're just gonna run these down finger tight. Now with these just hand tight, you're going to hold it up to your engine. You know, approximate where your holes are gonna be mounted, you know, with the bolts. And check your carburetor for how it's going to be level. If you're putting this on a mini bike with a tilt mount or a go-kart with a tilt mount, you need to, you know, account for that while you're mounting the carburetor. This is an example of an improperly sealed O-ring. This carburetor will not run and it'll have a really bad intake leak. As you tighten these bolts, make sure you do alternate between the two. So I snugged up that side, snugged up this side. I'm gonna torque this one just a little bit. When you're happy with the placement of your carburetor on the manifold, go ahead and tighten up those bolts, alternate back and forth. Once you do that, we're going to bolt it onto the head. If you have the ability to port match these with a file or a Dremel, 
it'd be a good idea to port match the manifold to the intake just to make sure it's a perfectly smooth transition. Next step, we're gonna grab our gasket, hold it up there, that's not right. There we go, make sure you line up the shapes. Transfer it over to the manifold. Start one side, come over, make sure you go through the gasket. Now it's the same procedure on these as it is for when you were bolting the carburetor to the manifold. Alternate back and forth. Snug them up by hand. Now I'm snugging them up with the wrench. Now that our carburetor is mounted to the engine, we're gonna hook up the throttle cable. Take the cap off of the top. You have one spring. You have a rubber seal in that cap. Always make sure that's in there. Take your slide out. Now there's a pin inside of these carburetors that you have to line the slide up with. And you can see it drop all the way down. If you put it in backwards, which you can do, if you put it in like that, you're gonna be hung wide open. You can see how far up the slide is versus that. So line up that pin, make sure your slide goes all the way back down. That is very, very important. Now in this slide, you have a needle. Let me show you. Pop that clip out, a plastic washer, and a C-clip. The C-clip on our carburetors is always in the middle and they always have this plastic washer. If you're tuning it with that plastic washer, keep it in there. Make sure it's always on the bottom side of that clip. If you do need to adjust low end, low to mid range, your needle can greatly affect that. So for more fuel, you would lower your clip, which in turn would raise your needle, letting in more fuel. So we're gonna keep it in the middle, put it back in, put this clip in. Once you get it started, the spring is really nice for just pushing it back down. Make sure it's seated around your needle and it can't come out. To hook up the cable, run your cable through the cap, through the spring. In this hole, in the slide. And then into the carburetor. Last step, before you run the engine, make sure you put your air filter on. Most time you have to loosen up the clamp a little bit, slide it on, and you can feel it kind of snap into place in the groove of the carburetor. Snug it up and you're good to go. This is that same carburetor kit I just showed you mounted on a mini bike that we've been running here around the shop. Your fuel line, comes in to this uh, 3 16 fuel inlet right here on this side of the carburetor. Your drain lines, it's a good idea to run them down, zip tie them together and zip tie them to another hose to the frame. Huge benefits of this carburetor. Number one thing is performance. A close follow up in my mind, especially for mini bikes, is just the throttle feel. You can't beat how smooth this is. It's like riding a real dirt bike, a real motorcycle. Running a cable through that stock linkage, if you've ever done that, it's it just, it doesn't have that snappiness that these have. Now, most throttle cables that you're gonna run with these carburetors have at least two adjustments. You have one here as you're threading it into the throttle housing, and then you have one more here. Both of those can be used to take up or take away slack. Typical starting procedure on these if your engine is cold or if it hasn't ran in a while, you'll typically need to choke it, pull it a few times. Most time it'll start, take your choke off and you take off rolling. If not, after pulling it a few times on choke, you don't wanna flood it. So take your choke off, crack the throttle and then pull it. Most of the time these idles will not be set properly from the factory. So if your engine dies as soon as you take it off choke and 
you feel like it shouldn't have, uh, like it was running good if you were revving it up and then it just wasn't idling high enough. You just go in here, clockwise, raises your idle. It actually raises that whole slide inside the carburetor. If your idle's too high after you take it off choke and are running it, just back it out and it'll lower your idle speed. As far as troubleshooting procedures, if it's not running, you have your air leak, which we talked about. You have your fuel mixture screw, which we hit on, and you also have your idle. Other common problems is just bad gas. If you leave gas sitting in it for too long, if you leave pump gas sitting in your garage for six months, it's not gonna be good anymore. We recommend a good non-ethanol gas. You can get them from some gas stations. You can get it from you know Home Depot, multiple places. Something that's gonna make that gas last for a long time. If you plug up that low speed jet with anything, it's 15 thousandths big. If you plug it up, it's not gonna start. While your engine is running, before you make any major adjustments, you know, besides idle, getting it to stay running, before you adjust your mixture screw, warm your engine up to proper operating temperature and then go from there. If it's a cold engine and you adjust it, it's gonna change as soon as it warms up. Thanks for watching this video from Go Power Sports. Hopefully you like our 22 millimeter carburetor kit. Hopefully this video helps you install it, get it started, keep it running, and uh, have a lot of good times on your mini bike or go-kart. Let us know what you think. If you still can't get it running or if you're having you know major issues, uh, shoot us an email at sales at gopowersports.com.